my brain tech here, where tech is made simple. So on the 25th of October, Microsoft released their latest Windows 11 Insider Preview build to the Canary channel, build 25982. So if you are interested, once again, just have a quick look as to what is hot off the presses in this latest Canary channel build. So what's new in build 25982? Well, the first of two new features isn't actually that new because it has already rolled out to the stable version of Windows 11 22H2 with the Moment 4 feature update. And Microsoft say they are beginning to roll out Copilot in Windows in preview to the Canary channel. But just take note that at this stage, they are only rolling this out uh, to insiders in the Canary channel in the select global markets, which include the following. North America, United Kingdom, and parts of Asia and South America with their intention to add additional markets over time. So if you do find yourself in the Canary Channel, just take note of that. Now, the second of two new features is SMB client encryption. Now, I'm going to mention this, and this is mainly um, focusing on an at administrators and admins. So your average home user really won't be interested in this, but it is listed as a new feature, so I'm just going to put it out there. Starting with this build, SMB now supports requiring encryption of all outbound SMB client connections. Now, SMB, in case you're unaware, stands for Server Message Block. With this new option, admins can mandate that all destination servers use SMB3 and encryption, and if missing those capabilities, uh, the client won't connect. Microsoft says this enforces the highest level of network security as well as bringing management parity and parity to SMB signing, which allows both client and server requirements. Now, that's quite a mouthful, but if you're an administrator, you'll know exactly what I've said. So those are the two new features. And then moving on to the changes and improvements. And once again, uh, this first change and improvement is focusing on administrators. And Microsoft says that until today, which was the 25th of October, Windows Insiders users, users had to find out the IP address of their desired encrypted DNS server and manually enter it to configure client-side encrypted DNS on their machine. Now DNR will enable Windows Insider users to use encrypted DNS protocols like DNS over HTTPS and DNS over TLS on the client side without requiring manual configuration. So once again, that's quite a mouthful. But if you're an administrator, you will know exactly what I've said. Then moving on to another change and improvement. And if we just head to our settings system page and we head down to for developers. With the Moment 4 feature update, Microsoft rolled out uh, the new dev drive. And in the Canary channel now, Microsoft says regarding dev drive that REFS file system block cloning support is now available in the Windows Copy Engine. And if you don't know what block cloning is, basically block cloning instructs the file system to copy a range of file bytes on behalf of an application where the destination file may be the same as or different from the source file. So that's basically what block cloning on REFS is all about. And that's a new improvement now that's available for the dev drive. And then just a quick mention, um, they've updated the remote desktop connection to now support Zoom options of 350, 400, 450, and 500%. So that may be a nice move if you do use a remote desktop. And then the final improvement is regarding settings. And if we just head over once again to our settings, this time head over to personalization, head over to colors. It's regarding accent colors, where Microsoft says, if you're in light mode, the show accent color on start and taskbar toggle is now grayed out in this canary channel build and is only available in windows dark mode so the reason they've grayed it out is just to indicate to you that it's not available in light mode and will only be available in windows dark mode and then over and above that um, we get th uh, three fixes for known issues which is always a good thing and then we get one new known issue where some popular games may not work correctly with this latest and in this latest build 25982. So that's what's new. That's what's hot of the presses for this week in the Canary channel. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.